Hello and welcome to another Ensovian gaming video, and today we'll be taking down Ambush Shanks. Holy crap, is this guy hard. He has 10 million HP, so if you think that's too much damage for you to do, then uh, pretty much just walk away now. But I'm going to talk about how to beat him as well as uh, Lao Ji, the Colosseum, because that's the only thing he will be available on Global right now. But it's 100% guaranteed that you'll face him off if you beat Lao Ji, so that's really nice. He's available for the next two days, so if you can beat him, you should definitely should, especially because there's a... Uh, Times two skill up is up at the moment, so it's pretty easy to max him out. And if you want to know if it's worth to maxing him out when he's so difficult, I'd say definitely. His Captain Lee boosts the attack of fighters by 2.75 times and reduces the damage taken by 15%, which is freaking amazing for a free to play character. Like, Legend Jinbei boosts by 2.75 times and not even unconditionally. So this captain ability is definitely really powerful. And not only that, his special is pretty amazing as well. It reduces all defenses by 100%, which is unreal. That's like super powerful. And not only that, uh, on the enemy that you're targeting, if their HP is below 25%, just kill them. And if they are above 25%, cut their HP by 30%. That is so unreal. That's like, just Mihawk special on steroids is freaking powerful. The effect that's similar to this is Rare Recruit Sugar, but you need to be um, have the enemy below 20%, which obviously is very dangerous in this game. So having them above 25% not only means that you can use like a full HP cut team with like Blackbeard or Whitebeard, and just insta-kill a lot of bosses. So this effect is so cool. So I definitely worth like maxing out if you can do it. So let's quickly look at the team I'm going to be using. And for once it's not a freaking Neko team, instead it's a V2 Boa team because uh, I don't have anyone to switch orbs on my striker team so the LG would just screw me over. And this V2 Boa team is very strong as well. So the main unit you really want to have is Timeskip Nami because she deals with Garp's revival so well, removes paralysis and stalls. Uh, so if you don't have her it's really quite difficult, there's not that many replacements for her. You need someone to remove paralysis as well as delaying after the revival. He's going to be replaced with Zephyr or any other shooter booster. Zephyr might be easier if you don't have Alkaji since he does boost shooter attacks by 2 turns. Frankie is a sight or booster but since he's also a shooter unit he's really good for this team because he will boost his own orbs as well as the 2v2 bowers which is more than enough to uh, kill the Garp so that's really nice. You can replace him with other shooter or boosters like Margaret who boosts them for 3 turns which is also really powerful or Van Ogre who actually makes Lao Ji a bit easier since he gives you 2 matching orbs. But of course this is really hard because there's not that many great shooter or boosters so this might be the linchpin that screws you over if you don't have a orb booster. Alkoji is really nice because not only does he lock your chain to 2.5 times he also extends your specials by 1 turn meaning that the Frankie and Ace boost extend for 2 turns and that's really useful because this team only does about 7 million damage on 1 turn. So you need to do 3 million damage on the second turn, which will be more than doable thanks to Alkaji special. You can replace him with Raid Boa for the chain lock if you have uh, other specials that actually last just 2 turns or more, like Zephyr and Margaret for the orb and attack boost. For the ship, you can use the Ace Striker. I'm using the Kizuru Cannonball just because it's pretty much straight up more powerful, but the Ace Striker should just still do the job. In terms of sockets, you want uh, anti-bind and anti-despair maxed of course. Auto heal, I only have that at stage 4 because um, freaking Alkaji's and Frankie's sockets aren't maxed, but that's enough because the two bowers heal you for 1k each every turn anyway, so that's not too bad. Well with all that said, let's get started. So we're going to jump straight to stage 4 which is Don Jin Zhao. He has about 2 million HP, but since he's in and you have 3 in uh, side units, uh, he's pretty easy to kill. Just use one of your bower specials and then kill him over two turns since uh, you need the other specials to kill Lao Ji on stage 5. See there I did a pretty decent amount of damage, 1.4 million which is actually kind of nice to know how much damage you're going to do with Garp with like no matching orbs. I mean with matching orbs but no other specials. Now after he revives he uh, binds whoever killed him for five turns so make sure you don't bind the uh, either Boas and probably not the Frankie either since he does a lot of damage. Since he revives, um, he still has like a million HP, so you want to use the time scheme Nami to bind him for two turns, and then it gives you that enough time just to kill him with uh, normal attacks for th over three turns. One million damage with uh, five units. Over three turns with this team is pretty easy, S since again you have a lot of side units. Just batter him over t uh, three turns, no big deal. Nothing to do about below 20%, nothing like that. Like as you can see, like he has one effect and that's pretty much it. And uh, you've gone through it. Just make sure you don't let him attack since he attacks for 44,000 damage below 50%. Now on to Lao Ji. He has 3 million HP, attacks every turn for 6,000 damage. And every turn changes all your orbs into G orbs, which can be super annoying. And since you don't have a fire team, or I don't, uh, he silences all your characters for 2 turns. It would be nice to use the Nami here, but like you will just die to uh, uh, Dungeon Jiao if you use it. If you don't use it there. 
So I think I could actually just kill him maybe instantly if I just use the bow specials. But obviously I can't use them now because of silence, but like I think I do stall like one or two extra turns. But you know, better safe than sorry. This is like my first one trying to beat both things, so I wanted to play super safe, not take any risks, like unnecessary risks anyway. So I think I actually do attack like one more turn, or maybe I don't, we'll see. <laughs> I actually don't remember. As you can see there, like uh, when he drops below 80% and 50% HP, he cuts your HP by 50% and then attacks, which can be super powerful. Okay, I don't wait, cool. <laughs> I don't waste anyone's time. But I do take some time like using my specials just to make sure. Just activate all the specials and just kill him. <clears throat> Even with T-Orbs, that's still quite a lot of damage. Obviously, make sure that you attack with your Psy units since Frankie only boosts the orbs of Psy units. Blam, 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 nice. And some pinch healing, which didn't come into play at all. And then we're going to go straight into the ambush, <laughs> which is where it gets scary because LG is a 30 stam raid, I mean stam, uh, Coliseum, so you should have no problem with that. This is where it gets tricky. And by god does it get tricky. It's probably the hardest thing in the game so far. On round 1, or stage 1, or about 1, whatever you want to call it, you face off against this cannoneer. As you see there, he has that skull on him, because he attacks for 45,000 damage. So, you know, if you don't kill him on turn 1, you just die. So, uh, no pressure. But, you know, if you, even if you fell here, you got those Laogies. So, you don't, you don't come away empty-handed, but still, you'd obviously want to kill the amazing up. Everything else, you just uh, kill off Sweetie. If you need to store more turns, you can. This team obviously can store pretty well since you heal 3k at the end of every turn. Or I would if I had ma uh, maxed out auto heal. Here, the two guys on the uh, what well, like the two guys in the middle row, they will um, bind a random unit for five turns. So if you need extra turns of stall, you can let one live since he won't actually attack what he binds, which I will do. Which I don't think I did actually need to do though, because uh, there's still kind of turns before you fight Garp. I probably didn't have to stall this much, but you know, as I said, it's better safe than sorry. So I'm just gonna speed up the stalling. Just kill them as they come off CD pretty much now. The turtle actually can only hit like take like three hits of four. I think he has like 10 HP. Yeah, it looks like 10. So he can't stall too long on this Elder Seahorse. I mean tell. And to stage 3, it's only Gumo. He has about 400,000 HP, attacks every two turns for 10,000 damage. Preemptively locks a sub for 5 turns, which can be annoying depending on who he locks. And all the guys around him attack for about 9,000 damage, so you want to kill them fairly quickly. The only thing is on these mini bosses, you want to make sure they don't drop below 50%, because they do some terrible things. Uh, Onigumo will captain swap you with a sub on your team, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but like obviously it's very annoying. Uh, and Momongo will do, will do something much worse. Also though that he um, locked your chain to 1.5 for 4 turns which make sure you make uh, sure that's gone before you fight Garth himself otherwise you'll just be screwed. So here I killed the other guy and I'm just terrified of getting him below 50% so I take a lot of time here. I like even weigh out the changes and like I don't want to make I don't want to like risk it because the captain's top will probably screw me over. So I think I actually like take 2 more turns just to make absolute sure that I don't uh, drop him below 50% without killing him. Yes, I just wait out the one extra turn because you don't take any more damage. Well, you don't take any hits on Garp. Not that you could really anyway. So you can use all your HP as a resource on uh, stage 3 and 4 just to make sure that all your specials are up and that you don't uh, drop them below 50% without killing them. So now I take one more turn just to get the heal because why not. And then we finally kill him. Make sure you hit your perfect so you do the most damage. Blam. He's dead onto stage 4, which is Momonga. He preemptively cuts your HP by 30%, that's fine. Puts up a delay protector again, that's fine. Below 50%, he silences your ship for 10 turns, so you don't get the 1.55 times attack boost from the Kizuru Cannonball, nor can you use the special. I'm sure you, you're familiar with these uh, cannon chicks. They uh, heal at the end of every turn, 100,000 HP every turn, and if they live past turn 2, they will enrage. Momongo will also enrage after turn 4, but you know, you don't let him live that long, so that's fine. I got a lot of matching orbs here, and as you can see, I hit with like 2 hits, and it was like 20% of his HP. So I was pretty confident I could just kill him here, which I do. He only has 400,000 HP, which really isn't that much, especially if you have some matching orbs. So here I kill him, and I kill one of the pistol girls. She hits for... not that much, 5,000 damage. And then as you can see here, she will enrage, and attack a lot for more damage as well as attacking every turn <clears throat> but that's not that big of a deal because I'm just gonna kill it now 
Douche. Douche. And now for the moment of truth, facing down Garp himself, Jesus Christ, he has 10 million HP, the most in the game. He attacks every turn for 19,000 damage. Just unreal. As you can see there on preemptively, he changes his type to in, randomizes all your orbs, and prevents debuff uh, defense reduction for 99 turns. So you can't use like the Boa Sisters, they get more damage. I use one Boa special and pretty much all other specials except for Time Skip Nami and the other Boa special. So I'm gonna burst them over two turns. Obviously, make sure you use Frankie and Ace first so that Alkaji will extend their buffs for one turn. Otherwise, you'll be doing no damage next turn, which is pretty pitiful. So I always attack first with Time Skip Nami, which is nice because the chain doesn't actually activate until the first hit. And as you can see here, I do about 8 million damage. 7 million, 7 million damage. So without the chain lock, just do 3 million which is not hard at all. And when you think it's over, you've done 10 million damage, he revives with 2 million HP, and not only that, freaking prevents all damage from type, from type damage. So you can't use normal attacks, you can't use most specials, <laughs> so for 2 turns you can't do any damage pretty much, unless you use like Int Hawk special or something, because that's typeless damage. Also paralyzes all units for 3 turns, silences quick units for 3 turns, um, Cuts your HP by 80%. It's just unreal, all the things he does. Plus, now that he's below 20%, he attacks every turn for 580,000 HP. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of effects. So, yeah, don't be too bad. Feel too bad if you can't beat this. I'm going to use Time Skip Nami to remove the paralysis and stall two turns. Now that the two turns are up, the type damage shield is gone. He randomizes all your orbs into terrible orbs, so I'm going to have to random. I'm going to just reset the app and uh, hope I get better orbs. To be honest, you don't have to reroll that much. Uh, this team with four colored orbs, as you saw, did about 1.4 million damage. So you need to do about 600 million, 600,000 damage in two turns uh, on turn one, and you have you have some matching orbs. You probably want like to make it super safe. Get uh, colored orbs on Frankie and the two bowers since they're the heavy hitters. Uh, I took two orbs <laughs> because you know that's probably enough, and it is, but. So just make sure, just if you want to be safe, just both bowers having colored orbs will be enough. So over these two turns, I just used the bow special, got those matching orbs, and you should not get any like non-colored orbs on this turn. And you can rejoice as long as you can hit all your perfects and kill him this turn. Douche. Four damage from Nami, that's great. And he is dead! Oh my god, that was such an ordeal. I played it super safe and you know it paid off. I probably will play it a little faster in the future runs, but you know, he's dead, he's dead. That's that's important. Overall, this invasion is hard as hell. So uh post any other teams in the comments down below that you might have that would beat this. If you're feeling generous, you can donate to the PayPal, join the Discord if you'd like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, my Nakama!